Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking 3D stroke effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine, 30 FPS at a duration of about 15 seconds. Press OK. Once we've got that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a text layer. So I'm just going to write my word in here which is going to be create and then I'm going to align it to the center of my composition. So if you don't see the align tools, go to window align. Once we've got that, then what we need to do is we need to duplicate that layer. And on the bottom layer, I'm just gonna rename that to text. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move forward to about 10 seconds, press T for opacity, hit that stopwatch, I'm gonna move backwards in time to about seven seconds and then press zero. So if you've done that correctly, now you would have a very simple um, opacity animation in there. So we need to easy ease these keyframes. So you can do that by going to keyframe assistant, easy ease. Then we're gonna go to the graph editor and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring it, you know, maybe a bit like that. So it kind of slows in and then whoosh. All right, cool. So now that we have that, what we need to do is we need to create the masks that come from the stroke of this text. So if we go to layer and then we go to create, create masks from text, now we have the outlines. So the effect that we need here is called 3D Stroke. Now just a reminder, 3D Stroke is a paid plugin from Red Giant. So if you do not have it, please make sure you download it. So once you have um, 3D Stroke on here, we're gonna change the thickness. We're gonna bring it down to two. And then what we are going to do is we are going to go to the animate start. So I'm gonna go to about seven seconds. I'm gonna hit that stopwatch for start. And then I'm gonna go to 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna bring that all the way up to 100. And while I'm here, I'm gonna hit that stopwatch for offset. I'm gonna bring that up to 500. And I'm gonna go to the start of the composition and change it back down to 50. While I'm here, I need to click on that loop and if you've done that correctly, now you will see nothing really because what we need to do is we need to go to the taper and we need to enable it. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you have this cool kind of outlining kind of effect that looks pretty cool. So while we're here, I'm just gonna press U to bring up all my keyframes and I'm just gonna go to keyframe assistant and easy ease those keyframes. We won't worry about the graph editor for now. And once we have that, then what we need to do is we need to change a few settings in the taper. We're gonna change the taper end. We're gonna bring it back down to zero. We are going to go to the repeater and enable the repeater. And we're gonna change the factor to 0.7. And we are going to change the Z displace to 35. Now, Depending on how much of the stroke that you want, you can really increase this value. So you can play around with some of these settings there. But I'll leave this one at 35 for now. And once I'm happy with that, now what we need to do is we need to add some glow to this. So all I'm gonna do with the glow is just change the glow radius to about 20. And now we've got a cool kind of uh, glowing effect on that. So now we need some more colors. So what we need to do is we need to duplicate that layer. And I'm just gonna go to color hunt and I'm gonna pick this color scheme over here. I'm gonna put the pink in there and that's looking pretty cool. But now we just have to change the repeater settings a little bit. So I'm just gonna increase the factor to maybe let's say 0.8. And I'm just going to bring it up to maybe, I don't know, 40 or even 45 really depends on you know your taste and once we've done that again you will have to duplicate that one more time and again same thing that we will do I'm just gonna change the color and then I'm just gonna play around with some of the repeater settings so this time I'm gonna bring the factor down to 0.6 and this time I'm gonna bring the Z displace maybe to 25, something like that. Cool, so once you've done that, then the final thing is just to get a bit more white in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that white outline and I'm just gonna bump up this taper start to about 60 and now we've got like a little bit more white in there. So now once we have that, 
Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a camera. So I'm just going to right click add a 35 mil camera in here. I'm just going to move forward to the end of that um, opacity animation. I'm going to press uh, P over there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the stopwatch. All right. And then I'm going to move forward to the start of the composition. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit this uh, orbit around tool. And I'm just going to rotate this. And yeah, and just move it around until you're happy with that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this dolly towards uh, icon. And then I'm just going to really kind of zoom into it. And then what's going to happen with that is now as you move along in the animation, you will see that the camera moves with the text and then it will get to the end here and then the new text will come out and that's looking pretty cool just like that. So now once we have that, what we need to do is we need to easy ease those keyframes. So if I go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then the final thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna add a new adjustment layer. And so I'm going to go back to this area over here just so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to add some curves. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring that down and create a nice little S bend over here. And then this will really brighten that area over there. So then once we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of those layers, go to layer pre-compose and I'll just call it, you know, like text. Uh, we just need to add a background to this. So I'm just going to add another new solid. I'm going to call it BG. I'm going to put it uh, underneath and then I'm going to search for the effect called gradient ramp. I'm going to go back to my color hunt and I'm just going to search for a color in here. So I'll search for this one. I'll change the white to that color over there. I'll change it to a radial ramp. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap the colors and I'll move the start of the ramp to in the middle somewhere and I'll move the end of the ramp to maybe something like that. So that's looking pretty cool. And then once I have that, the final thing that I can do in here is I can just add another new adjustment layer and I'm just going to put that on the top of everything and I'm going to search for the effect called noise and I'm going to bump that up to let's say 10%. Yeah, so now if you've got that done correctly, now you have this cool animation that kind of zips around, moves around in the camera and then ends at its final point over here and then the text comes back in. So anyways, thanks for watching this short tutorial on how to create a 3D stroke animation. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.